guys welcome back to my channel this is wazin from jmom creations welcome back guys and if you are new welcome i am so so happy that you are joining us today and my name is wazin and i love everything home i love turning my house to a home so today's video i am so so excited to paint the piano if you have been with me you guys me you guys know that i um uh, the piano that i have has been given to me by my uncle he is 96 years old and gave it he gave it to us when his wife passed a couple years ago so he gave it to my little one my younger son so i have the permission from him and i asked him if i could paint the piano first thing he asked me what color it is it is gonna be i told him black so he was so excited to see when it's come when it's finished how it looks he told me something he thought about years back so today's video i will be uh, painting the piano kind of give it a refresh as you guys know if my, my uncle is 96 and he had it for a very long time and in the family so you know it's all beat up but it, it still look good so i plan on refreshing it with a coat of paint there is no other way to turn something beautiful with the coat of paint so that's what i'll be doing today and uh, because i have planned you guys know it's christmas christmas is coming up soon guys who would think of talking about christmas so soon i am so excited so painting the piano will give me a chance to move it to other areas in the house because i'm making plan for my christmas tree i'm prepping my house and i'm doing so much in the house to get prepared for christmas so guys let me take you and show you how the piano looks like uh it's all beat up like i said so and i'll show you how what it looks okay this is how it looks it's all beat up it has a lot of imperfection but of course i kind of like the imperfection maybe after it's all we paint finish with painting it will look nicer so this is what it looks like the top and they, they, there's some tape mark right here that i'm gonna send down and um uh, yep yeah, this is what it looks like guys. It's all beat up like I said. He said he had it for years when he was in his um, maybe 30s and he's now 96. So let's get right into it so it could dry up. I might even uh, use the chalk paint. I, I bought some Wastelium paint but because of all the imperfection I'm looking at I might use the chalk paint that I have because I think with the chalk paint I was gonna send it down and do all that but with the chalk paint I don't think I need to prep it I could just go ahead with the painting just give it a good cleanup a good wipe down as you guys can see it's not really in a good cleanup condition <laughs> so I do need to give it a good wipe down with some alcohol to get all these things out and then get it prepped and then tape it and uh, I'm gonna have to move these and tape these so I can get um, so I don't put paint around the, the thing so let's go guys this is the top I will move the top so that way I could get inside of it and give it a good cleanup as you guys can see I don't know how long someone even clean the inside because i know i had it for years for at least four years now and the inside that's first first time i removed the top to go right in the inside of it with all those tools so i'm just gonna easily and safely tape it and then paint it so i don't have paints going in there so this is a hard word all right guys i'm using rubbing alcohol so I can clean the clean up um, the keyboard. So yeah, the 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 rubbing alcohol is really making such a difference on cleaning it. So yeah, and it is it was really looking it was really looking uh, nasty. So yeah, it's safe to use the the, the alcohol. And um, yep. The rubbing alcohol really clean up the key 
the keys very nicely so now we are going to use this tape to tape it down so that way we could start I could start beginning to paint that rubbing alcohol really work if you have scum or uh, tape residue alcohol is a good thing to use to clean it up because I had a lot of tape residue over this piano and the rubbing alcohol really did a good job especially in the keys very nice so I'm done cleaning it up we are going to um, prep this surface and then paint stay tuned guys now I'm done prepping my surface I tape it and I use all these uh, junk mails to cover the top of the keys so that way when I do start painting it does not splotch the paint doesn't splotch on my keys so always do what you know best to protect your item and protect yourself use your you know your imagination because paint does splotch to places that you wouldn't think when you're painting so now I think everywhere is patched and everywhere is uh, taped and let's go right into it I thought I was gonna be able to move the piano but unfortunately it's heavy and the wheels are locked I can't move it and I do not want to scratch my floors so I just uh, use a tablecloth from the Dollar Tree and I just cut it and taped it and put it underneath of it so that way it's safe and and protect my floors so now let's go right into painting and after that those other part like those those other part that I remove from the piano which is the top I will paint them on the side or maybe take them outside and paint them as well so yeah let's go right guys into it Guys, this is it all finished. I love, love it. 
like I said, this can be in the family for many, many more years to come. I love it and I am so happy that it turns out willing, looking pretty good. I will take a picture and send it to my uncle and I'm sure he will appreciate the work that I put into it, how I bring it back to life. So guys, do not be afraid. I hope it inspires you. If you have something in your home, you do not like the way it looks. So don't be afraid to get you a paint of your preference, the color of your preference and paint it. Paint goes a long way. Like I said, it can change a piece of furniture. Anything can be painted, whether it's plastic, whether it's wood, whether it's metal. There are paint for all type of furniture. So do not be afraid to change something and make it your style, make it your fit in your home. This is what I did in this piano and I just love, love it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy your day and if you have not subscribed i would love love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and press on your notification bell so that way you can be notified every time i upload a video and give me a thumbs up guys let me know if you love the way it turns out and leave me comment i do appreciate all these comments and thank you guys all of my new subscribers and all of the one that i have before you guys know how i feel about you <laughs> i love you all and have a great week stay blessed and i will see you in the next one bye guys love you